Hey there, everyone. Welcome to Help Will Come Tomorrow, day five. We are all still alive. And if you are not familiar with this game, the very brief synopsis is that you play this group of survivors who have survived an attack on a train in Siberia in 1917. They have to survive against both the elements and the renegades that are hunting them down and trying to kill them. And we have been alive for four days. We survived a day where we were all high and hallucinating yesterday, thanks to Grigori here with his yellow jacket. He had some hashish under his hat that he threw on the fire at night, got everybody high as a kite. So, but we did make it through the day and actually found some pretty good things by scavenging in the wild. Today is building day. We've got a lot of stuff and we have a lot of things we need to build. And one thing to call attention to, up here we have somewhat of a weather forecast and it says the frost changed after night. And I can, think you can see that it goes to the little snow icon with red, which means that we're all going to be bitterly cold this evening. So we're gonna to try to take some steps to help against that as well. A quick overview of our characters as we start out to health and morale is pretty good for Maria. She is some very hungry and somewhat thirsty. Zofia, same thing, hungry and thirsty, but health and morale are pretty good. Sir Edward Gray, same thing, health is good, morale is up to 100, and Grigori is at perfect 100 and 100. So at least in terms of how they're starting the day, they're, they're in pretty good shape. Now Grigori, in addition to being hungry and thirsty, is also cold already, and he's tired. So we might have to send him over to the little shelter to regain some fatigue. But let's take care of a couple of little odds and ends to start out the day. First of all, we want, I think we had some water left over. We did. So let's see if we can quench that thirst. Sir Edward Gray is no longer thirsty. Let's give Maria some. Come on, Maria. Drink up. Come on, Maria. Ah, uh, my function's not working here. Let's try over here with Grigori. There we go. Good. I don't know why it's sticking to it. I don't think it did that before. What's going on here? Come on. Oh, I see what's happening. There we go. Just click it and let it go. Oh, okay, I'm learning stuff in Zofia. So good, nobody's thirsty anymore. I'm gonna hold off a little, actually let's do a little bit of bugs. Bugs for Gr Sir Edward Gray. Oh, you can just hold it like that. Oh, that's so much easier, perfect. And let's give Sir Edward Gray the last of the bugs. Good, everybody's still a little hungry. We'll try to take care of that by the end of the day. Oh, Grigori gets dehydrated. Well, we'll see if we have any any extra time at the end of the day, because I definitely want to get into building things first. And I was thinking a little bit about it. Over here, we can build a workbench, and we have a lot of stuff. We have enough string now for that. So let's start with the workbench. I haven't really planned out how much time it's going to take to do all this stuff, but let's get Maria and Sir Edward Gray building a workbench here. We need some structure. Let's use our scrap metal. Sure. Let's use our wood here. And I think we can use some of these little twigs too. Good. And now, hopefully they don't fail at this and we get a workbench going. Yes. Nice. A lot of pluses and minuses here. I'm not quite sure what they mean, but they burned up some energy. Everybody admires their work and we have a workbench. Excellent. Now, one of the things I was curious about is can we buy, that's a game flaying, that's metal workshop. Oh, can we make a tool? Tools. Knife, hammer, shovel. Ah, oh, perfect. Knife. Can we build a knife? Wood and something sharp. Yes, we can. Can we build a hammer? Yes, we can. Nice. What about a shovel? Oh my goodness, this is pretty good. And it only takes one and a torch, which would be interesting. But we're not going to use up a material. Let's do a hammer first because, and let's get Sir Edward Gray here to do that, because I think the hammer might help us to build some of these other things. We can use a tool to create the thing and it creates a higher quality version of it. And we have enough to do all this. So, okay, here we go. Oh, action failed. Sir Edward Gray. Not enough resources. What? What, what, what? Oh, let's try again. Let's go to Zofia to try this. Come on, Zofia, you got this. Yes, all right. We have a hammer. Nice, so we have our first tool, which is a hammer. Perfect. So with that in mind, let's go over here and try to make a quarantine point. We have some material, I think, right? Yep, I think we have enough material to do this and upgrade our water, water filter too. 
And uh, 12 of those, sure, let's do that. And now we can add, great, we can add the tool and it only takes one person to build this? Oh, we wanna use two people. He's a little sloppy and he might fail. Let's not have him do that. Let's go to Maria and Zofia here to try to do this. Come on, be lucky, don't fail. Yes, excellent. All righty. So this is gonna give us some more options too. And I see, so that quarantine point, because we had a tool, the quality, the quality is 70% instead of the default 50%. Most excellent. We got medical tools, simple cover, caretaker post. We'll take a look at that stuff later. I don't quite know what that's all gonna involve now. But let's go from here. And because it's gonna get cold, let's see if we can build this palisade up here. I wonder if we're gonna run out of wood. Probably, but structure we need. Let's use our rocks, rocks. We have enough wood? Oh, just barely. Is that, is that gonna help? One, oh, that doesn't do what we want it to do it. Okay, so let's go back here. 25, okay. And we need these twigs, so let's use that. I think we're gonna run out of wood and stuff. Oh, this would be nice if we don't fail. Maria, back up there. Zofia, you guys worked together well last time. Fingers crossed. Yes! Nice, we got a fence too. It says it's supposed to protect us from the wind, but it really doesn't look like it's going to do much. But we'll just take for granted that it will. Now we can build some other things. Snares. <sighs> Interesting. Make it possible to set up the traps, which give a chance to catch smaller animals. And we have enough stuff to build one of those, too. Interesting. But let's actually try one more thing before we do that. Let's get Sir Edward Gray... Oh, I screwed this up, didn't I? Because I want to see if we have enough to make simple cover here. Structure, because it's going to help with the warmth too. Wood. God, we don't have enough, do we? We do not have enough wood. Oh, we do. If we use, but then we don't have any wood to throw in the fire. Bark. Oh, we can throw bark in the fire. Okay, that'll work. Okay. This could be a risk here these two guys working together they do not like nobody likes Grigori he's just but this would be helpful too because it will provide everybody with a bit of wind protection come on guys why can't you make it oh because we need more wood uh do we not have enough I don't think we have enough do we we are one stick short bugger okay I'm gonna think for a second and see what we might make here and then come back momentarily because we have four action points maybe it makes sense to send Grigori and Sir Edward Grey out into the wild or so so give me a second to think here and I'll be right back okay I figured out one thing we want to do here which is we want to come up to the fireplace here and we can upgrade our to make a large water filter because we have a little bit of material left just enough and then we have some rocks we can use for structure and it only takes one person. Let's see if Grigori here can do it without failing. Don't fail on me. Yes, he did it. Excellent. And everybody likes him a little bit. Oh, it took, oh, because I only used one person. Oh, what an idiot. I was so stupid. I needed to have Sir Edward Gray to help him. He's all his action points. Oh, bugger, that was dumb. Oh, well, I mean, it was only one action point instead of two, but still, that would have been nice. So now, now what do we do? We have one action point left. Let's think for a moment here. Okie dokie, I think the only thing I can think of really that might be useful to do with our last remaining action point is to get Sir Edward Gray up here to filter some water because that will get rid of his dehydration or Grigori's dehydration. And that's about, that will help remove that item. Then we can give out some food, send Grigori to rest and there we go. How much water do we get if we have a large filter like that? Six. Excellent. So double the amount of water now because we have an upgraded um, water filter. Good. So and who's thirsty? Grigori's a little bit thirsty. So let's give him a little bit of water. Excellent. And let's send, let's give him some food too here. We have just mushrooms I think left to eat now. Edible mold. Oh, it's edible before. Well, yeah, that'll work. It only just says slight decrease okay let's do that um let's see if we can get grigori down to oops what happened to grigori oh my gosh he's hallucinating and sick so it gave us two 
negatives and took away the hunger thing. <laughs> so Grigori's a mess here. He's going to have a rough day tomorrow. We did, by building the palisade too, I noticed that the frost change, instead of it being severely cold tomorrow, they'll just be cold. So that'll help. And maybe we can throw some stuff on the fire here. So we've, and I'm not sure what happened to Sir Edward Gray here. He just started hallucinating. So maybe Grigori injected him with something. I don't know what happened here, but all of a sudden he's just hallucinating and not happy anymore. So with that in mind, I think it's time to give out these mushrooms. Let's see if that helps. That's something. Still hungry. Uh, poisonous mushroom. No, we don't want that. Uh, mushroom. We got 11 mushrooms. Let's just do that. Okay, good. So he's only hallucinating. Which, and Zofia is no longer hungry. Maria is not any not hungry anymore. Grigori is kind of the most messed up of any of us, though, because he's really tired, hallucinating, sick, <laughs> sick and cold. Poor Grigori. Okay, Grigori, come on over here. You can rest, though. We'll take care of you, buddy. We got your back. Even though nobody likes you, you're just going to rest over there. Excellent. I think that burns up all of our points throughout the day. And so now it's time to head to the... Oh, we want to throw... Wait, wait. I'm going to throw some stuff on the fire. Don't want to mess that up. We can burn some of these cones. I'm going to get the fire going, I think, quite a bit here. Oh, with the camp visibility, because we have a fence, I think it makes it less. So let's go... Oops, what happened? 54%. Now the camp visibility is moderately high, but that's good. Oh, so we can go much higher with the fire without increasing camp visibility because we have the fence perhaps as well. Excellent. This is actually starting to look like home now, isn't it? We got the little bed place over here. We got the little hospital. We got a workbench. We got a hammer that's made out of like metal. We got a fence now. We need like an address and a mailbox and stuff and maybe an internet connection. So we're, yeah, we're almost there. We're doing really well. Let's go to nighttime. I'm gonna stop babbling here. We didn't check out that adventure, the um, the spot next to the camp where we can try to go on seeking this, desperately seeking Pieta. We'll do that tomorrow though too. Um, a tale of mystery, let's try that. I feel like that might not have been a good choice. Zofia says, Sir Edward, didn't we meet a few times in the restaurant car? Dear madam, it would be hard not to pass at least once. I remember you very well. I, I didn't impose my company because you looked busy with your worries. Please forgive me for my inquisitiveness, but I noticed that you ordered only Western dishes. I understand that you can be fed up with, well, known dishes, but I don't believe that even an extremely progressive culinary inhabitant of Russia will not be tempted by a stroganoff soup in the autumn or will not drink hot borscht to a meal. It's a very... I wasn't expecting the conversation to go this way. Well, we have different tastes, I suppose. And won't order caviar even once. That seems suspicious to me. Mmm. You figured me out. Caviar is not a real Russian dish. You figured me out. Let's do it. Maybe she'll admit something. That... You figured me out, Mr. Edward. I work for Prussian intelligence. I am Russian Matahari. She's messing with him. Plus two. You're joking with me, my lady, and I just don't want to keep the conversation. I just want to keep the conversation going. You're extremely perceptive, and sometimes I wonder if anything on the train escaped your attention. We can certainly be reconciled with our love of chai, or if you prefer it, tea. This is, oh, good. Oh, dear, they're still going. Indeed, this is one of the areas in which I'm a real expert, because he's probably English, right? I think there are many such areas. Oh, that's a compliment. I will modestly admit that you are right. He is definitely a little bit. Let's check the hand car. Let's move to the train wreck. That's an extremely bad idea. Let's see, no, our shelter's good. Let's wait for the patrol. Delusions. Let's check the hand car, that sounds. Unfortunately, the locomotive will not start, but a hand car was attached to the last car. We could use it to get out of here. Well, that's a good idea, Maria. Why are you mentioning it on day five? And will we go away towards the setting sun? Come on, if the handcar is derailed, we'll not be able to put it on the track among the whistle of bullets of these thugs. Mr. Positive. What if it isn't derailed? Anyway, the handcar is not everything. Saddle horses were in the last car, too. 
So now they chop, now they're chopped meat. Even if some of the horses survived the catastrophe, they were probably taken by these bandits. Huh. It's just bringing the whole vibe down here. So instead of checking it, you'd rather we sit here idle? What's wrong with you? Do you expect everything to be done for you? Oh, Maria, laying into Grigori here. Let's go. Well, what's the, well, what's the plan then? You need to look into the last car. <laughs> you, she said. And check the condition of the horses and the hand car as much and as little. What, what does that mean? What, anyway, okay. Well, in that case, it's best that something I can't read alone, probably not go alone. A larger group will attack the attention of the thugs. End of the day summary. All right, so here we get all the pluses and nobody like Gregory. Nobody likes Grigori here. Oh my goodness, minus one to Grigori, plus two to Zofia, minus one to Grigori, plus two to everybody else. Grigori likes people, just nobody likes him. <laughs> okay then, how are we? Oh nice. Oh, I get it. Now I understand. So I thought. So right here it says minus one AP for two times statuses. Passenger difficulty. That's because our pet we're at passenger difficulty. Three. I'm not sure what that quite means, but you lose action points depending on how many of the negative statuses you have. But if you pass your morale test, which is your character morale and your camp morale, you don't lose those. Oh, so that's why the morale is so important. Ah, I'm figuring this out on day five. Anyway, uh, that's good. Let's see how we look here tomorrow morning. We were all kind of, uh, Grigori here was nauseous. Oh, he's back up. Okay, so what do we got here? Maria is cold. Okay, we need a larger fire maybe. Uh, cold, hungry, and tired. Zofia is hungry, thirsty, and shivering. Cold, hungry, thirsty, shivering. Really hungry, thirsty, and really cold. Freezing. Okay, camp visibility. What's the weather look like? Oh, it's going to stay. This, oh, it's going to get warmer. So they're going to lose their cold tonight, I think. Nice. Okay, well, that brings us to the end of day five. Cautiously, I'm doing a lot. I feel like we're doing a lot better than I assumed we would be. I thought we would be in serious trouble by day five. But, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have to see how this goes here. Oh, look, we've got another event, too. Escape to the West. Maria wants to check out, check out the back of the train herself. Days left to finish. Four. So we've got to get to the back of the train in the next four days. Very interesting. That seems actually like a, a way maybe out of this. I wonder what triggered it. Maybe the fence or something or getting all four structures built or something like that. Any case, um, if you've enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. It always helps get it in front of new people. Um, if you're new, please consider subscribing or hitting the notifications so when you know when day six comes out. Again, we're doing these on Mondays and Fridays. So this is Friday's episode. We will be back on Monday with day six. We need more supplies to build stuff for sure because we're out of wood and things like that. Really need some clay to get a cooking pot going. And I think we need to have to figure out a way to get game, whether to set up snares by the fence or maybe check out the train because she mentioned there was horses. So maybe there's some horse meat there or something like that. Probably need a knife to do that. We can make one of those. So lots of stuff to do, lots of action points to spend. We'll be back on day six. See you then. Thanks again for stopping in. Have a great weekend.